Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Laura Luna Books. My name's Laura, and <laughs> today I want to give you some awesome book recommendations and some books you should avoid at all costs. So this is my two recs and two recs recommendation video. So let's start off on a positive note and let me tell you the books I have read recently that I recommend that you read at some point very soon in your future if you have not read them yet. So the first book I think you should pick up instantly. It is just a classic and it's a rather old book. I think it was written maybe in the 90s, but it is the book Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. And I cannot tell you enough how magical this book is. It's a bit of an urban fantasy. So the story is about a man named Richard Mayhew and he lives in London and he's he has a job. He's He's a regular bloke. He just goes about his daily business. He's engaged. He has really no complaints in his life. It's very average, you know? Average can be good. But one day his average life is completely disrupted when a girl falls through a doorway seemingly out of nowhere and is injured. And no one else seems to be able to see this girl except for him. So what happens from there is that Richard saves this girl and he finds out later that she is not from London, above that is. She is in fact from a place called London Below, the neverwhere of London, where all the people who don't quite fit in to the above ground kind of seep through the cracks and end up in this underground world of London. And all these magical creatures also exist, like angels and rat people and bounty hunters of a kind and it is quite magical and Richard Mayhew finds himself on an epic quest that he never could have imagined in his whole entire life and therefore his life is changed consequently forever but in a good way well not in a good way precisely but definitely in a less boring way I listened to this book on audio actually and it was so odd because I swear I had read this book before even though I hadn't I don't think maybe I had read it when I was like really young and I couldn't quite remember it really big deja vu while reading this book that's for sure so yeah highly recommend Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman and then the next book I highly recommend is a book called Hunted by Megan Spooner and this was a recent young adultish book release and it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. The main character's name is Yeva and she lives in a village with her sisters and the story goes that her father loses all his fortune and therefore has to take his children away from the city life and move back into their cabin in the woods somewhere far away because they've lost everything and this is the only thing they have left this cabin in the woods and so Yeva is really excited about this because she loves the wilderness and hunting and she does not love the city life and did not want to get married and settle down and have children because that's way too boring for her and when they're there her father goes out to start hunting and he comes back slightly mad he's found this beast or creature that he's trying to hunt and he just can't quite capture it and therefore it's driving him mad and then one day, he doesn't come back and Yeva gets worried and has to go look for him. And there she runs into this beastly creature who is actually part human and is cursed, but he can't really talk about it. So he captures Yeva because there's a way for her to break the curse and therefore the story of Beauty and Beast goes from there. Just the way she describes the world and the stories, and it's very simple but very elegant and it just feels like well i also listen to this on audiobook this is weird all my books i've been liking a lot have been on audiobook which is funny but it feels like someone's telling you a story late at night where you're wrapped in a blanket with a hot cup of tea sitting by a fire and it's just that it evokes that feeling of just warmth and the sharing of stories that i really loved okay so now that we've started off on that positive note on to the books that i didn't like so much so, 
here we go. I don't like saying I don't particularly like books because I think all books have merit in themselves and different people will like them over others. Maybe you read it at a certain point in your life where you really connect with the story or you've just, like me, read a lot of books so you have an idea of what a good story is and what a bad one because you've read very similar things. So these two books are actually also based on like fairy tale retellings and folklore retellings which clearly is my forte and the kind of books I like a lot. So when it's done poorly it's just very disappointing and you just want to be like take it back make it better please but that's not possible sadly. So the first book I didn't really like it just it was too much. She tried to do too much with it, and it didn't work. Um, but it was Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. And it, the premise sounded really cool. It was Snow White mixed with this Ice Queen idea. But Snow had gone mad and was in this institution. And she was starting to get these magical powers. And then she had a great destiny to fulfill. But the problem was, it was so jumpy and just very vague and was random it was like she was trying to fit too many storylines together because snow started off in this institution for no other reason than walking into a mirror when she was little and trying to bite people like clearly this girl was not mad and should not have been in an institution so i don't know that was weird to begin with and then all of a sudden this other boy comes and is like, come to this magical world with me. It's your destiny. I don't know. <sighs> I just didn't like it. And all the main guy characters were pretty much the same person. There's like four of them. And you're just like, why? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> and she's supposed to get this magical training, but she never really does. And then she just keeps following other people around and not really doing anything productive. I really liked um, the Dorothy Must Die series by her. That was really good. But this character was just a copy of that character, but a worse copy. But yeah, that's my opinion on that book. Um, I wouldn't recommend reading it, sadly. And along with that comes another book that is a retelling. It's about the Goblin King story, which I really like. And if it's well done, it can be a really good story. There's not too many retellings of the Goblin King, so I really like when there's a new one that comes out, but not this one. It was meh, to say the least. So it was a book called Winter Song by S.J. Jones, and it was supposed to be about music, and you never really felt the music, it was just described to you, and okay, let me tell you the premise. There's a girl named Weasel. She has been overlooked her whole life. She's supposed to be this prodigy compositionist and can hear music and has played with the Goblin King when she was younger um, and they were friends and he's like, you'll marry me when you're older. And she's like, no, I won't. Um, and then they grow up and she forgets about it and she lives this drudgery of a life with her father who's a drunk, her mother who's not very good at showing affection her beautiful younger sister who gets all the attention and then her prodigy brother who gets all the musical attention from her father and she gets overlooked pretty much. And therefore she has some simmering resentment issues that just is there the whole book and never really gets resolved and just kind of drags the whole story down. I don't mind a complex character but at least have them get some growth. She never seemed to grow. But yeah, her sister is dragged by the Goblin King underground to be his bride, and she goes to rescue her sister and therefore takes her place. And then there is this idea that it's sucking her vitality out of her by being in this underground world and being the bride of this Goblin King, and I don't know, and then they fall in love. Are they really in love? I don't know. Hmm. So, yeah, don't recommend reading those two books. But if you want to, you can try them, but I didn't personally enjoy them. But thanks for listening to me ramble on and on about these books. I hope I helped in some way to encourage you to read or not read 
these four books. And let me know if you've read any of them. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions as well. But until next time, I will 